Do you like fishing in the outdoors? You should subscribe to Wisconsin Fisherman. Also, hit that little bell button. And while you're here, follow us on Instagram at Wisconsin underscore Fisherman. What is going on, guys? As many of you know, it is now fall, or getting there at least. Let's talk about bow hunting. Um, pretty excited this year. Gonna hunt some public land just like I did the last year. <clears throat> um, I wanna go out and practice. I just put new draw mods on here so I could have a little bit longer draw length. And um, gonna go shoot a few times, make sure everything's still sighted in. Just kinda dilly dally around, you know. Really, yeah, just get ready for hunting. <clears throat> so, with that being said, let's shoot some bow. So, one of my main reasonings, of course, sighted my bow, but another one is I want to figure out where I need my cameras to be. If I got to have a head cam on, I know a chest cam ain't going to work because you're turned and you're shooting like this. Um, and it's, it's pretty hard to operate a camera in the tree by yourself, which I have done before, but uh, I'm thinking I'll probably just go with the head cam. So I'm gonna shoot a few shots and uh, see what happens. I got a target set out at 20 yards. Just right now I'm gonna sight in my 20 yard pin. And then uh, we're gonna go down the line and see if my rest needs to be moved over left or right, which I think we're pretty much centered up. So take a few shots, see what happens. I'm gonna shoot a couple more times at 30. These cameras are too fancy for me. Trying to like adjust the ISO and all this fancy dancy stuff. I have no idea. You guys, this is past my knowledge. I need a cameraman. Oh, there it is. Ha, <laughs> all right. So that says, shows that it's like level, but I'm definitely not leaving it like that. I'm gonna like level it up this way maybe. All right, see, this is like as we go stuff. So I know a lot of you want to see my hunting stuff and like kind of go through it a little bit. Um, I'll go through a little bit of it with you. Um, so this is my bow that we were just shooting. It's a Matthews Chill. I got it a few years back from a guy I know. Um, I really like it because the split, I don't even know what these are called, limbs, split limbs, yeah, that, those, that's right. And um, I just really liked the look of it and the, the shortness of it and I always wanted one and I finally got one was able to shoot it and I did end up liking it. Originally I had a, a Hoyt um, Maxxis 31 which is almost like identical to this bow. Um, but they're both good bows, I mean they're both going to shoot deer so Hoyt, Matthews, Bowtech, blah 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 blah. You can go in the comments, I'm not going to. Um, and then, as far as arrows, the past few years I have shot the gold tips, which they're a really heavy arrow. And then the flying arrow archery, um, what do they call that? I'm drawing a blank, guys. It's been so long. It's like a whole year. Mm -hmm. Hang on. Let me, let me get this, like, yeah, it's not going to work. Anyways, um... What are they called? It looks like the radioactive symbol. Because that's what they look like. Never, don't worry about it. But, uh, i to put these back in my thing before, uh, never want to leave your broadheads out. Because a string is like, a string's like 30 bucks and you don't want to be replacing a string. And then I got this one for a varmint's run through. This is a Tekken. Uh, by G5, it's a Tekken T3. I know that, um, but and then I got these two for deer. One of them have shot a deer. Not one of these, but the third one that's not here shot a deer. Um, gosh, I'm gonna think of what they're called by the time it's over. But they are sweet broadheads. So that's what I use for broadheads. I'm gonna I'm gonna switch those broadheads onto the other arrows 
before I go hunting, of course. Um, and then you gotta have one of these during the rut. These is a uh, Primo's Focus camera. It's a Primo's The Can. Anything bleak can. Are. I literally, the first year I shot, I heard a doe bleat. It was the craziest thing. She bleat probably 50 times and it just, it sounded like it was over there and over there and over there and over there. And I finally seen her over there and the buck was running right at her. So when I flip a bleat can in the woods, I flip it 30, 40 times. Not even kidding. Um, Cause that's what the doe did in real life. Um, so beyond that, when the rut comes, I do have a, this is a Montana doe. Um, not ex exactly sure what, uh, it's just the regular standing doe from Montana. Um, you guys watch some YouTube videos with some where they have this like deer doe standing there. And then it's got like, pegs and posts that it goes on. But that's that's the main, right there, that decoy in the bleed can during the rut, you're gonna slam the deer. Um, range finder, I use a Bushnell, it is the GeForce DX. Good little, good little camera, it's got bow, it's got the angles, so if you're really high up in a tree, it compensates, which is just a couple of yards. Um, but it, it is ends up being, you know, a big deal. So that's that's that and then oh scent control. I do use scent lock um, Scent lock camel illusion camel scent lock and then throw a little bit of nose jammer in there this stuff guys is It smells like vanilla like you're cooking like cookies and you got that vanilla smell like it is just like It's amazing. It's super good and like it's like why not you know um, That's about it, you know when you do put the decoy out, I use all sorts of different, you know, you got the tinks and then you got the wildlife research center, you know, the hot dough or, you know, dough and etches, whatever. Um, that's pretty much it. If you got a little rattle uh, pack rack, you know, do some rattling. So I don't do that much. Dogs think it's antlers because they're shed dogs. Go. <clears throat> so that's that. I use that every once in a while. I get really bored. I'll throw a little, little, little rattle out there. But yeah, get excited for deer hunting videos. I can't guarantee when it's going to be, but we're going to have a bow video. We're going to have a hunting video. And then get excited for this. This is the brand new Hummingbird G2N Mega Imaging with Chirp. I cannot wait to put this in my new boat. Did I say new boat? I did. So, you guys, we're gonna get that stuck in the new boat. And do some hunting, do some fishing, we're just gonna keep going, um, or I'm just gonna keep going. And yeah, we're just gonna, just gonna give her. So, if you guys got any suggestions on what to do for videos, if you wanna see a nice fishing video this winter, um, you know, what do you want to, what do you want to see me do in ice fishing this winter? What do you want to, obviously I'm going to go hunting. I'm going to shoot, I'm going to shoot a doe or buck. I don't care if, <clears throat> if it's a trophy buck, obviously I'm going to shoot it. If it's medium buck, maybe I'll shoot it. Um, but the little ones I'm going to try to let go. The freezer is getting quite low on venison. Um, and venison is really good. So we'll see uh, what opportunes itself during the bow season. And with that being said, guys, hope you enjoyed this little kind of, you know, going through stuff video and talking, shoot some comments down. I'll be around to respond. So now with that being said, thanks for watching. We will see you next time.